Since I was a young child, all I wanted to be in life was a singer. I would watch the famous singers on TV. I, my dad was a famous square dance caller, and I was a child, a musician as a child, playing keyboards and clarinet and string bass. At 22 or 24 years old, I sat on the bed and I said, "If I can turn myself into Barbara Streisand, mm -hmm. they will take me serious." Because stunt people, <laughs> as dangerous and as bad, as serious as the work is, it's it still doesn't have the respect and I wanted to sing so I set that goal for myself and I'm reaching it today and that's what's so exciting is that after all of these setbacks and everything that's happened to me I am now reaching the goal I set at 24 to become a famous well singer. it wasn't straight to the music um, I was very very serious about becoming a famous actress and I continued to do stunts but in my free time everyone who knew me since I was in college always knew I was always singing and knew the words to every song that's all I wanted to do but my first priority is my music my singing and my song I was driving home one day top stunt girl in the world almost famous actress I had a horrific car accident that took the left side of my car off it took me a year to walk again. I had numerous uh, abdominal operations, and I didn't think I'd ever get on my feet to walk or perform for 10, 12 years. And um, so I turned it into my writing, and that's why the script writing is so far along. And I sat on my bed and learned 150 songs yeah, yeah. that I would get a chance to sing. Uh, and um, and Here it, I am. I'm a walking testament to God's miraculous healing powers. And, um, and it was very difficult because I did lose everything for many mm. years. I never thought I'd do anything again. Dan, and we, uh, this is the God Award. Many. Yeah. Um, Artists and Music Awards. Awards, Best Blues Artist, Finalist, uh, Best Americana Blues Roots, and Best Female Vocalist of the Year for We Can Take Some of the Hurt Away and mm. that. That, that was the thrilling part, is because I've, I've worked <laughs> to be the best, best singer. I was yeah. asking me about the process that Michael Jackson always had a beat in his head. Well, I'm not a drummer. I don't have a beat in my head. I'm a melody. Um, okay, since I was 19 years old, I've been writing love songs, or even younger, broken-hearted love songs. And I would get up in the middle of the night, and everything with me starts with the lyrics. And I'm the creator of Lyrics First, an organizational guide to the craft of songwriting. I don't do chords. I play piano. I play very slow. And so um, it comes with the lyric. I then, through my music education, I chisel that lyric till all the rhymes are in the right place mm -hmm. and it's going to be singable. Then something ma magical happens. Big award winning song this year, Release My Love. Mm -hmm. I wrote that with this process and um, I chisel the lyrics, then magically I hear the melody. Mm. And um, that's really how I it? do it. You actually really hear it? I actually, and then I hear the melody, like the chorus of Release My Love. Seduce me with your romance like before. Okay, and so, and I'm, my voice isn't warmed up right now, and you Very really nice have to hear Very this nice. amazing recording to get the, the effect, nice but I heard that Smooth. when I looked at the lyrics that I had written, and that's how I write. I don't play my own music. I hire musicians that play what I write. I can write it, but I'm the vocalist and the, co the composer and the professional musicians and they, they play what I know We're getting to the music section now and I've recently won Song of the Year um, honorable mention which only the best songwriters in the world receive from entries all over the world for my release my love and I thought we had a clip of it to play but you can hear it over on SoundCloud um, release my love Marnine slash uh, dash Lynn dash fields my song of the year award I'm so thrilled to win this this year um, for release my love because it starts a series of songs that'll be on my my new uh, CD, The Blue Veil Project, a compilation of heartfelt memories. You know, one of the top composers also have one of the top videos. I want to say I've never won anything until 2012, 
and now I've mm. won eight. <laughs> mm. And so, you know, like I say, it is never too late to keep trying and pursuing your goal.